going on, YouTubers? Or now the Lex here. I'm about to empty out the Cheeto and my reactor. It's been about a month, to be honest. I've been slacking. I didn't clean it, but it is very compact everywhere. It's like telling me it's time to clean. Everywhere you look, it's like a lot. I got this reactor going. And I have my other reactor going too on this tank. The one I just showed you stays on for about like 10 hours a day. This one stays on 24 hours because I didn't have a timer for it. And this one grew much faster. I can't wait to see how much I have inside. And it's been about maybe three weeks on this one. But you can see, anywhere you look, it's just full. Kind of awesome. Has all my levels low. Shit is crazy. Look at how full this is. Can't even push my finger and says how thick it got. I'll show you with the fish tank light. No matter where I turn, there is Cheeto everywhere. I think my red dragon's breath died. I don't see it in here. But I do see a lot of Cheeto. I'm gonna start emptying this out. Let's see how much I got in a month. This is crazy. Wow, this is thick. I'm gonna put a small ball in it now and redo the whole process all over again. Oh, the dragon's breath is alive. Still looks good, looks healthy, doesn't look bigger. This thing is thick. Wow. Wow. The density, it's not like very thin. It feels like trying to go into a, a cotton pad. It's one month. Unbelievable. I think it's better cleaning it once a month because honestly, I don't have the time to be doing these things every two weeks or whatever. Still plucking, there's some more of Dragon's Breath there. There we go, came out nicely. Nice, Chio, wow. Metatron, Look. Come back. Got a whole garbage thing, not a garbage thing, a little pail full of it. This is very thick, very heavy. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna clean this chamber out and come back and do it again. I wonder if I have any pods. Would it be awesome if pods? Oh, I do have pods in here. So you know what? Maybe I'm not gonna clean it out that much. I see coat pods there, it's moving around. And that's what I want. I want it to become like a breeding ground for them. The red algae you had in the bottom disappeared. And uh, Cheeto took over, which is awesome. And you wouldn't have come here if you well, were I want to clean this thing out and put it back. No, I'm not going to clean the sponges to keep the coat pods on them. All right, YouTubers, I'll be back. I'll show you how much I put back into it. All right, guys, so this is what I have left over from this one reactor. And this is very, very thick. Like, I could space it out and it'll be very, very big, but there's no need. I'm, I'm going to give it away. And then I filled up the reactor. I spaced the Cheeto out, I like spread it out and I try to put it in thin so you can still see through it as you can see but I still wanted to give it enough to be able to grow a lot again this is only from a little ball that I took off of it I know I should probably put less but I want to give it enough so it can take off again and produce this about a pound of Cheeto <laughs> All right, I'm about to put it back together and, and do the other reactor now. Right. Some people might think it has a lot, but it doesn't. It'll thicken out nicely now. Maybe I should thin it out a little bit more. Okay, I thinned it out a little bit more. In my head, I was thinking I want to make it nice and thin and see how good it grows instead of leaving more in there. 
took out that big ball of it at the inside of it. Let's see how this goes. I thinned out all the Cheeto. I took out all the pods. And I put the pods back in here. I want to get this shit full of, full of, full of, full of, full of pods. Got to put the dragon's breath, little piece of dragon's breath that I have. I mean, it did get bigger, but not too, too bigger. Maybe I should just put it on the plug and put it in the tank. And I'm going to put it back together now. Not bad. 